There's so. a different type of psychological perception of reality that comes to you when you eat meat. It's a difference. Like uh, me, I was a part of a gang in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. You know, I was out here harming my brothers and everything. When I went vegan, I, I remember I, I ran over a squirrel. I cried. I pulled over. Really? Yeah, but it fucked me up. Ran over a squirrel. And, it, it, and I used to be, I used to hunt deer, go fishing. You know what I'm saying? That was my thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Especially with my uncles. But when I went vegan, I hit that squirrel. They hit that hurt. That hurt. It felt different. I cried over hitting the squirrel. So it just shows you the psychological processes when you eat meat from when you not eat meat. And then you know, uh, we hang around a, a lot of uh, boxers, and we are a lot, we're around a lot of celebrities. Some are healers, so mm -hmm. you know everybody need healing. And uh, we see how they eat. And like before some of their fights or like certain football, I know a football player right now that only eats raw meat up in like three days up into his game. And it show and it, and it it raises his testosterone and it makes him very very aggressive and mm -hmm. he out here dominate. I ain't gonna say his name, but he out yeah. here he out here killing shit on the field. But you can see when I would be looking at him play, I see a damn lion. Yeah. I see it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But he eat like a lion though. So so it's like you can see you can see the certain you are what you eat. And then like you got Angry Birds and you see a lot of angry people. I was watching during the Popeyes thing, uh, all of the people that was getting murdered over a piece of chicken at Popeyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One dollar. I've know, never had it before. I me mean, neither. So I never had Popeyes in my life. But if you see the aggression I haven't either. Over, over food though, it's like that's crazy. Like you <laughs> no, you, you, you you're right. You'll rarely see somebody murdering somebody over a, a vegetable sandwich. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga, give that's me that true. lettuce, nigga. Yeah, 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 you are, you are not gonna see that. You know what I'm saying? But you know what's so funny? Um gosh. So, okay. Because it seems like only within the last twenty to thirty years that this whole impotence thing yeah. start becoming a thing. Yeah. Right. And that I remember I was talking to a homeboy. Remember you said that 20, 30 years. I got something for that. Yeah, I was talking to a homeboy one time. And he was like, yo, man, um, dog, you know, you should try these blue pills or whatever. Yeah. I guess it's the Cialis yeah, or whatever yeah, like yeah. that, right? I'm like, why would I do that? And he was like, yo, it makes you harder. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I only take a half of one or whatever, so on and so forth. And I'm like, but bro, now I mean, keep in mind, so I'm 41 years old. This was probably... Four years ago, mm. and I'm like, I'm so afraid because I feel great. Like I'm cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> yeah. I don't want like I'm I'm working just fine. I'm good. But I see a lot of guys do it even when they are not impotent because they saying that they yeah, want to just get make harder. you go, it make you go harder in the bed, and then you can you can ejaculate and still keep going. Okay, so here's my question then with that. In addition to the impotence. Does that affect you Hell negatively yeah. long term? Though? Hell yeah. It it puts that's, so much that scares it me. It puts bro. stress on the cardiovascular system. If you read the back of them, it tells you that if you have numbness in your in your hands, you have numbness in your face, go to the hospital. And it tells you if you have a heart on after six hours, go to the emergency room. Because what you're doing is you're force you're tricking the body into forcing blood flow to an area for long periods of times that you naturally can't do without them. <sighs> So that stresses the cardiovascular system. It actually dilates the pupils. That's why a lot of people that do Viagra, that go wrong, they go blind from it. Because all the volumetric They're going blind from Viagra? I mean, oh, dog. Whip out your phone, man. No, I mean, listen. Oh, you can Google I, these I, things. I, trust me, look. This is probably going to be one of my most replayed interviews from me, mm -hmm. personally. I'm going to rewatch right, everything. So you're going to go back and study it anyway. Yeah, yeah, I, yes. got, I got to. Yeah, so, you know, when you... You're forcing blood flow or what you call interstitial fluid to a certain area to increase to increase the, the oxygen molecules in a certain area to grow with and girth. Mm. And then you want to keep it there for a long time. So not only do Viagra pills or what we ever call it, this is called a lot, blue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But these things, they, they, they psych out the brain and then they force blood into a certain area for erection. And then it stays there until it wears off. That's that is very. Yeah, that's wrong. So it put literally. These pills put you into a state of fight or flight. That's what happened when you went into a state of fight or flight. Mm -hmm. All the blood leaves your, your your inward part and goes towards your extremities for you can either fight or you can take off and run. That's why you get so much you get that adrenaline. high adrenaline. Yeah, yeah, and all of that. yeah. And yeah. look, this puts so much cortisol and dumps so much cortisol and sodium within the blood. So you literally are in a state of fight or flight, but you're doing it for your your, your sexual desires and sexual uh, preferences, and you don't even know that you're putting a bunch of stress on the adrenal glands. Mm. So it so it brings you into adrenal failure or adrenal fatigue. 
Uh, and then the thing about the adrenal glands is the adrenal glands is in control of sugar metabolism. They are in control of sugar utilization, steroid metabolism, steroid utilization is in control of what you call the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system. These are things that runs off the autonomic nervous system. These are things that runs on autopilot. Your breathing is on autopilot. Your, 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 your thinking mechanism, the way your eyes yeah. blink, that's autopilot. Your digestive system, that's autopilot. So imagine you on these things and then you psyching out the adrenal glands and the melanin neurotransmitters in your body to move all this blood in that area. And then that's the reason why if you take them too much, you have all these long-term side effects where you have breathing complications, you start getting eye complications, mm. your adrenals start failing, the adrenal sits on top of the kidneys, they act as the actual power engagement for the filtration system of the kidneys. You start seeing all these liver and kidney diseases later on down the line for taking those pills. Mm. So yeah, you, you fucked real good, but look, look what it cost you. Yeah. When you could have just went on a watermelon fast, because watermelon juice have uh uh this 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 is called it's a bioflavonoid. It's called lysopin. Is what makes the watermelon. Yeah, I see a red. lot of people going on watermelon fast. Man, that it, man with the with the hide in it, the ride in there, man, yeah. that had you stiff as a rock naturally. You have things like yohimbe herbs, yohimbe damiana herb. Mm -hmm. These are herbs, ginseng, American ginseng mm -hmm. herbs. This stuff that will increase blood flow. So if you want to get your penis hard and get a strong, stiff erection and, and to keep it hard, you know what I'm saying? You can do this. Personally, you can keep your penis hard as long as you want. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? All you have to do is get rid of all of the obstructions that's blocking proper blood flow to your penis shaft. Yeah. Because that's the issue. The, the issue is blood circulation to that area. Your penis is made out of these elasticity these elasticity cells where they can get as big. You can you can have a you can be a grower and not a shower. Mm -hmm. What I mean is naturally you can sit at one point five inches, but you can get enough blood down to your penis where you can grow a seven and a half eight inch penis from a resting one point five inch. This is you can look this stuff up. So the size of your penis. It, I mean, it, of course, it matters on how it looks aesthetically to women when it is on soft. Mm -hmm. But when it get hard, that's all about the, the amount of blood that you can naturally get down there. You can do breathing exercises to grow your penis and your penis is a muscle. You can get your penis hard and do the wet towel method where you where you wet the towel and put it on your penis and lift lift that towel up. Do that 30 minutes of the day and it, it will naturally grow the penis. You know, I have never heard of this before. The wet towel method. Yeah, I, this is my first time that I've ever heard of any of this. Man, there's so many different natural exercises that you can do to strengthen the width and the girth of your penis and to keep it hard and to strengthen up them arteries for you won't ejaculate and, and come fast. And come fast. There's, there's a, it, look, there's I've a never heard of this Check before. this out, brother. There's a disease called penile atrophy. Okay. Penile atrophy or atrophy, whatever they call it. You know, everybody got different dialect. Mm. Penile atrophy or atrophy. I hadn't heard doctors say it. But it's where it's a it's a phenomenon that happens where you give yourself over to alcohol and cigarette smoke or you get a certain type of STD where it will literally shrink your penis. And w within the last. Yes. Within the last uh, 10 to 12 years. Don't quote me on this, y'all. It's I think it's 10 to 12 years where the black community, the man, the men have lost over two inches of width and girth to their dicks.